Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It is me, Mr. 4 k Upscaler. So, uh, recently there was a new gameplay trailer that was released on Gamescom 2019 in Germany from uh, Electronic Arts. And I do have to say, and a lot of other people agree with me as well, who are into Need for Speed community, that this is the good news, and it's good to see that Electronic Arts is finally listening to Need for Speed fans, they're going back to the original roots on what made Need for Speed Underground so unique and cool. And of course, that's the customization. Customization, customize your car any which way you want, buy the parts any which way you want, earn the rewards, uh, build your own unique, very customizable uh, automobile. And that's what street racing community is really it's about it's about customizing your own car building your own setup so you can show off to the others and then you can race for it uh race for the money pink slip etc 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 and i'm glad that they're going back to those original roots of need for speed underground which made the need for speed uh so successful it's really the underground underground too so i'm glad that they're going back to that now there was also an interview with a developer of Need for Speed and one specific first question that was asked was about microtransactions and the first thing that this developer answered, answered was uh, there won't be any microtransactions like he fully confident, confident he was so hundred percent confident saying it that there won't be any microtransactions now are they gonna do something in the future where they're gonna have some sort of uh, uh, microtransactions in the future that's possible like uh, a year from now a year and a half from now or something like that it's possible they might have something but for right now they're not planning releasing uh, this game with microtransactions and that's cool that's a great news that means that finally electronic arts it's listening a little bit not fully but a little bit they're listening to uh, need for speed fans and as you can see the graphics are really good you can adjust everything the exhaust sound uh, smoothness aggressiveness of the uh, the exhaust uh, there's endless of customization possibilities here and that's pretty cool you know this is what we want this is what we were looking for this is what I was looking for as a fan of Need for Speed and uh, this is Mercedes AMG you, you can just see that you can adjust your suspensions you can adjust your wheels uh, everything you can even adjust your character as a matter of fact uh, you can adjust your character and the way your character looks. Uh, so there's a tons of customization here. And uh, this is great. This is a great news. Uh, I'm definitely going to buy this game 100%. Uh, especially now that I have EA Access. I'll be able to uh, try this game on all three systems. PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. And this is what I like. This is what makes Need for Speed so unique. You create your own character, your own unique character, your own unique car, your own unique brand of the car, if you will. Like your team, let's say Mr. 4K Upscaler team or Mr. 4K team, right? Where I have my own team and we're uh, competing in the multiplayer and I can have my own style bring my own style out there on the streets in the game so that's awesome this is pretty awesome dude I like this I can tell you the multiplayer on this it's gonna be awesome so and I'm really excited to see that finally Need for Speed uh, understands that look man we don't care about the storyline uh, they were always going for this fast and the furious storyline type of a gameplay we don't care about that that's dry out we care about street racing customizations endless endless customizations and guess what 
you are giving us exactly what we want. This is what I want electronic arts to understand. This is what we want. We'll buy your games, but give us what we want. If you give us what we want, you'll make your money. You'll have a successful game. And I'm telling you, this is coming back. Finally, Need for Speed is coming back. And it's coming back in a really good, big way. So we can look at the gameplay here. This was uh, released yesterday, I believe, from Gamescom 2019. This is in... Uh, it is set in a place called Palm City, Palm Bay City or something like that. But it's really a... It's like a Vice City. It's a Miami. It's really a Miami. It looks like Miami because I live down here in Miami, so I know how Miami looks. And I can tell you that this was inspired by Miami Beach and Miami. So uh, it's set in a uh, fake, fake, fake fantasy different name of Miami. Okay. And I like it. As you can see, this uh, player was able to customize his car and his player any which way he wanted. He was even able to customize the sound of the uh, exhaust, how he wants the exhaust to, to, to sound. Actually, the muffler. So he was able to adjust the sound of the muffler as well. Uh, he was able to adjust his wheels, uh, the suspensions, everything and uh, now the question everybody probably is going to be wanna asking is what about the uh, the gameplay is it 4k 60 or is it 1080p 60 um, I think this game will run on Xbox One X in 4k 60 because it's a racing game and Xbox One X has already proven to us that he can do 4K 60. Okay, that he can do 4K 60, and it has done 4K 60 on, on racing games like Forza, Motorsports. So I don't see any reason why they wouldn't be able to do 4K 60 on this racing game. Uh, PlayStation 4 Pro, they're, I don't think they're going to hit full native 4K. They'll probably cut down to like maybe, I don't know. Uh, 1600p or something like that up the checkerboard to 4k I don't think they're gonna hit native 4k but we'll see the PC version obviously it's gonna be the best version uh, so if you have a PC version then of course the PC version is gonna be the best version and what's so great about the PC version is you are getting a ultimate edition deluxe edition ultimate edition part of premiere if you have EA Axis Origins Premiere, you're going to be getting the best version of the game with all of the accolades on the PC. And that's the benefit of uh, EA Access Premiere. Every EA Access exclusive game, you'll be getting it uh, part of the uh, your membership. So that's awesome. Um, so like I said, I'm, I'm really excited about it. I like what I'm seeing. I like that they're going back to the uh, the street racing routes, going back to the underground style, and that's what we want. This is at least what I want. I don't know how you guys feel about this. Me, I'm not missing the story. I don't care about the story. I only care about this, the street racing, the customizations. It's like the asphalt, you know, like playing the asphalt. It's about unlocking and customizing unlocking new cars unlocking new parts buying new parts customizing the new uh, cars that you have making it very unique experience uh, so I love it now here we are racing at night now at night you have more chances when you're out there street racing when it's not a closed circuit when it's like open on the Miami Beach right here you have more chances of being pulled over by cops here. So this is in my look, Miami Beach. It's really in Miami Beach because I know how you know South Beach looks like. All right, I've been here many freaking times. 
So this is definitely Miami. It's just they don't have the license to call it Miami, but it is Miami. It is the Vice City. Uh, and I love it. Listen, man, I love it. Now, the this game looks much, much better if you are having the, the direct source. This is a compressed uh, recording. Uh, 1080p and MP4 compressed. So, you know... It's not going to look as sharp, it's not going to look as vivid, but once you try the demo, once you try a full game of this game, uh, this Halloween on, on a 31st, I'm telling you, you're going to be uh, seeing a much, much better detail. But look, overall, like I said, I'm I'm very impressed. I already told you guys that uh, I'm impressed with uh, Need for Speed Heat, and uh, it's exactly what I want. You know, I was always like hoping, please. As a matter of fact, I think I mentioned it uh, on their uh, not on their website, but on their YouTube page. I think I I wrote a comment where I said, EA, I really hope that you guys make and go back to original Need for Speed Underground roots. Uh, please go back to the Need for Speed Underground. Bring us the uh, Need for Speed Underground style. That's what we want. We want customizations. We want to be able to have that same ability that we did with the Need for Speed Underground and Need for Speed Underground 2. And I think they're delivering on that. I think they might have listened to me. I think they did listen to me because that's exactly what they're doing. And um, let me tell you, they are making the right choice here. This will be a successful Need for Speed. Trust me. This will be a successful one because they're giving us exactly what we want. No microtransactions. That's a big bonus. Uh, lots of unlockables. Tons of customizations. This one will be played for a long, long time. And all of us who are fans of Need for Speed... We'll be on the multiplayer, live streaming this, customizing our own cars. Uh, this is what it's all about. This is what the street racing community is all about. Customizing your own car, having your own special style and a team, you know, making your own team, whatever that team is. Mine's going to be called Mr. 4K team. And uh, racing against other players, buying new parts, that's what this is all about. And I really can't wait to uh, get my hands on this game. And I love the fact that it's set in Miami. You know, it's a Palm City Bay, whatever they call it. It has a different name. Just like Rockstar calls Los Santos, Los Angeles. Same thing here. They're calling it Palm Bay City. But it's really Miami. It's really Miami. It's Miami Beach. How do I know? Because I live in Miami. So I know Miami excellent. I know every single part of Miami. And this is Miami Beach, for sure. And it's Miami City, downtown. Uh, so, there you have it. That's how I feel about um, Need for Speed Heat. I really like it. I'm really excited about it. I can't wait to play it. Uh, I'm going to play this when it comes out early, three days early. I'm going to play it on the Xbox, PlayStation, and on a PC. The great thing about the PC version is I'm going to get the best version on the PC with everything included. The Ultimate Edition. Everything. So I'm really stoked about it to check it out, to, to play it myself. Uh, now, we have to remember one thing. On the PC, you'll be able to squeeze the best possible picture quality, the best possible graphics, because depending on your rig, you'll be able to push this game to its limits okay with the frostbite engine but it's gonna look great on the xbox one x especially on the oled this will look really great with the neon lights uh with flashing being chased by the police officers law enforcement as you're sh street racing through the city uh so uh look this is a underground number three what this is and that's great it's just they're not calling it underground, but it's really underground three, what this is. And uh, I love it. It's great. Can't wait to play it. Uh, so Need for Speed fans, rejoice. There you go. 
there's hope for you, Need for Speed fans. EA has listened to you. They finally realized, hey, the gamers are not interested in the storyline. They're interested in street racing because that's what the Need for Speed community is about. Street racing, customizing your parts, customizing your cars. That's what it's all about. I know this because I live in Miami. I know a bunch of DJs, a bunch of friends who are into street racing community. And they always tell me, like, man, we miss Underground. We miss Underground too. And I'm like, well, Need for Speed Heat, not only is it like Underground, but it's set in Miami. So how awesome is that? Uh, well, there you have it. So I hope this uh, video was informative. This is how I feel about it. And uh, you guys can check out this gameplay video for yourself. This is not the best video because it's recorded in a very kind of crappy uh, compressed mp4 video format but trust me when this game comes out it's going to look much much better on your uh, pc rig on your uh, oled qled television whatever you have on your xbox playstation so there you have it uh just a a quick i guess 16 minute video just wanted to briefly give you my reactions on the gameplay and how i feel about it so uh great job ea Finally, no microtransactions, and they're going back to the underground, underground style routes. Well, there you have it, guys. Thank you for watching this video, and I'm going to see you pretty soon. Take care. Cheers.